Alright everybody, it's a new day. Today we're gonna do some work on Christopher's car now, but we're gonna go get something to eat first. We got Sterling pulling out. Alright, before I was interrupted, I was saying that today we're gonna be working on Christopher's car, but right now we're gonna go get something to eat for breakfast. Probably get some coffee too. This is gonna be a pretty long install. We're gonna be installing the rest of his suspension. Not only installing, we still gotta dial everything in, but it's not gonna be like perfect alignment. As long as we get everything on and dial everything in, then that's like the hardest part. But it's gonna be both the front and the back, but... I mean, you guys will see when we start doing the install, what we're gonna be installing. As far as Christian's car goes, the actual subframe isn't like done yet, but we I think we got the hardest part finished. He's gonna come over and then we're still gonna be working on it. Stay tuned for that and let's go get some breakfast. Yeah, we just got here. We're gonna get some coffee. We're gonna order some food real quick. Got our coffee. Yeah, I got Jamba Juice because I don't usually drink coffee. Yeah, baby, trying out this uh, pumpkin, pumpkin cream cold brew. Right now, we're gonna head out to eat some breakfast. Then probably head back to the house. Guys, we got breakfast. We got Okazuya, baby. It's like a bento action. Oh, Take boy. your pick. Damn, what is that? Yeah, Dang. is that fish um, patty? Is that fish patty? Hash, baby. Oh shit. Damn, right here. Here we go. Damn, what's inside there? There's some old school style right here. Damn. Local boys. Made it back home. Had a good breakfast. Now it's time to get started. Chris is gonna bust out all his parts right now. Well, let's check it out. Hey man, baby. Yes sir, uh, hey man, here we go. Yes, uh, I don't know where CM is, he playing. This is us right here. I'm gonna just throw mine in the mix. Once again, going in with that pink baby. You gotta keep it original, try to get your own color. You know what I'm saying? I think everybody opts for the orange, the original Tito Man orange, but I'm trying to mix it up. Christopher is uh, missing his front upper arm and his short knuckle, and then I'm missing my front lower arm and my um, coilovers, but on the car for now. the most part, this is it. <laughs> Gotta get that B-roll now, baby. All right, we're gonna start ripping apart the front end of Christopher's car and then we're gonna start installing all the arms. I gotta put on the um, top hat on the airlift strut, but you'll see when we get to it. So we can move the bag in, that way the, the knuckle doesn't rub when we camber it in, so that way we can get more camber too. Yeah, let's get started. Uh, we're gonna take off the wheels now. Straightforward, common sense. Then we're gonna start ripping everything apart. We gotta cut the fender liner, I think. And when you try to ride low, it's gonna catch. All of that is gonna change in a bit. But we got two fans going right now because it's fucking humid as fuck today. It's been like that this, these past weeks. I don't know why, fuck. Something's wrong with Hawaii right now. Almost there. Oh, I'm just gotta take out the lower control arm. Everything else is loose, so it'll just come right out. But other than that, certain them are setting up a backdrop right now because he just bought a backdrop. I don't know why. To take pictures for like studio photo shoots. So if you're trying to get a photo shoot done, holla at us. All right, Savage, um, sponsor us. So we can use your guys' backdrops. Is he savage? That's what it's called. For real? Oh shit. Oh, oh there you go. Yeah, side. yeah, loose the top. All right guys, we got everything out. Pretty much the whole suspension is out on this side. Except for the upper arm. We have to take that out too so we can adjust it. Now we're gonna start on the other side before we start putting things back. Then we're gonna do the top hat on the front struts, like I said earlier, so you can create space to camber it out. But for the most part, it's pretty easy taking apart a suspension. You just gotta figure out what to take apart first or else you're gonna have to fucking put the shit back and take it apart again. Like some things have a specific order, but for the most part, it's pretty easy. All right guys, it's a hot mess. Everything is off on both sides, except for the uppers, but that's pretty easy to take out. So I think we're gonna cut the fender liner first and then the lower arm and the upper arm and then put the knuckle back, jack it up and see how much camber and then just dial everything in. We're gonna cut off this right here. And then we gotta let it hang some more and then we're gonna cut off the other side, so. At least if you completely take it off, all of this shit is not exposed. Just creates clearance for the wheel to turn if you're trying to ride low, you know what I'm saying? Oh. So it looks like this now. All the top is exposed, but for the most part, it should be good. That way the wheel doesn't rub on this area. 
Now we're going to um, do the top hat. We're going to unbolt the old top hat and put on the T to Man ones. This is the T to Man ones right here. So we got to kick this all the way back so we can put the camber. We got the top hat in. Look at that offset. So we can compensate more camber so the upper arm doesn't rub on the bag. All right, after some long thinking, we we're getting kind of confused with this um, caster body mount, but we figured it out. He mocked everything up and I just kind of ballparked the measurement for the camber and stuff, so. We're gonna see how much camber is at right now and we gotta add more or less or whatever. The bag is like completely far from touching now. I don't know if you can see it but there's a lot of clearance now. Now we're gonna put on the wheel real quick and jack it up and see how much camber and shit is on there. We're getting there but it's a lot of trial and error because it depends how much camber you want to run. It's about like negative 10 give or take one or two degrees. Probably 11. I think he wants to run a little bit more so we're gonna have to kick out the lowers a little bit more and then once we finish up this side the other side will be easier like the last time because we already know all the measurements after we finish this up we can start on the other side i don't think we're gonna finish today though we're probably gonna come back tomorrow button up the fronts and everything then do the rear try to do a uh, basic alignment now we can just drivable but well, this is how it looks right now We're actually going to take a break, get something to eat. I'm going to just chill here because we got all these parts lying around. We'll be back soon. We got it kind of dialed in. I think this is what Christopher wants, so we're going to have to torque everything down. Alright baby, look what we're looking at right here. Damn. 13, 14, give or take. One yeah. degrees. Christian, please! <laughs> we got CM here. Check the back out. I think this should be about good. We're gonna try to put everything back together and button it up. And start on the other side. Yeah, I think Kid Man sent me some stickers too. I'm not sending to the honor, baby. Christopher, please, I never buy a T the Man. Not you, I don't know. Why? Damn, alright, look at uh, I don't know what the fuck this is. Some JDM newspaper, cardboard. Alright, let's, let's see if this is, might be stickers. Fucking man. Fucking man. Damn. Yeah. Alright, what we got here? It's like, it's just fucking cardboard. Hello, baby. Sorry, we already do it. We already do it. Already. That's what you want to do to open it. <laughs> nah, they tried to trick me. They tried to trick me. <laughs> Let me sterling, you just open it, psych! Yeah, hit that a little bit. Don't do this at home, get a real saw. BYS, backyard special. Dang. Yeah. Hmm? Might have to get bigger, bigger to find. I mean, that's the concept. Alright guys, CM is back with uh, the subframe. We're cutting the notch for the fucking axle. See, if you sit it like this, then I can fill that gap. Yeah, CM is doing his axle notch. Yeah, baby. Okay, what you think then? Can. Is that good enough? That's pretty much the last thing, gap. thing that needs to be done, but my mic just fucking fell off. <laughs> All right, back in action. CM's taking care of that on his car, and we're wrapping up Christopher's one. All right, All right. Like this is what it looks like. Been going at it for a while now. The other side is pretty much dialed in. We just gotta do alignment at right height, of course. It's pretty much like this at aired up. Now we're gonna start on the other side. It's kind of my fault that I haven't been updating every single step, but it's kind of hard to vlog and do this work at the same time. If you got any questions, just ask. But everything is pretty much in there. Everything's torqued down. Let's try to go a little bit quicker because we already know what lengths are. So we just gotta install everything. Back to the project. Subframe, ready to blast. I thought this shit would be easy, but this shit would be hot. Here's the update on CM's project. Yo, I can't wait for fucking Saturday because I already fucking fart tech. CM, please! CM, please! That's that notch special, baby. But you just gotta do the other side and then brace the pumpkin or the pumpkin mounts and they should be done with that. Then gotta do the bushing and then CM can slap it right back in the car. He's ready for the low life. All right, update on this project. Just gotta torque everything down now and slap everything back on and it should be good. Oh. 
Dang. TJ just trying to tuck everything down here so I can get this bitch on the drop. Yeah, baby. Alright guys, it's on the ground, still not done yet but everything is pretty much dialed in, just gotta fine tune it, we're gonna see how it sits right now, you. You aired up? Yeah. Everything's aired up? Day's work, baby. Yeah. I don't know how accurate though. Maybe like give or take two, one degrees. Pretty much it. Call it a day. Come back tomorrow. We gotta finish the front. Like I gotta install the stabilizer link, but for the most part, just gotta check everything. Make sure everything's tight. Make sure the clearance is good, and the front should be done. And tomorrow we're gonna start the rears. CM gotta finish his um, stuff for tomorrow too. Freaking very stressful. He has gonna do freaking backyard special claim. Yep. If you got questions, ask us. We'll help you out for a uh, small fee of $49.99. Well, yeah, that's it. How do you feel about this camber CP? Is this everything you ever wanted? Fuck. Honestly, fucking hell yeah. Shit. It's like we're working so hard for fucking get all these arms and shit. Because these parts ain't cheap, man, people. Yeah. If you can stick your bolt in between the fender and the wood, then it's not good enough fitment. But this one cannot. So. Okay, <laughs> let me try. Yeah, good fitment. <laughs> uh, that's, that's it for the vlog. Wow. See you guys tomorrow. Peace.